It's Saturday, <clears throat> February the 23rd. I'm sitting over here because Minx is actually sitting in my spot right there. Yeah, you are. So, referee's on the floor here. <clears throat> I wasn't really planning on doing a video today since I have two minutes of taping time left. That's super. Uh, let me move down here, maybe, because that's where my uh, charger's going to be then. Ta-da! Let me plug this in real quick. Super professional, super professional job I'm doing here, as always. Get this around here. I wasn't planning <coughs> on making a video today at all. Um, I went out and I did, well, I slept a lot. And uh, then uh, at 1.30 I finally went out and did the, the Pokemon thing. The um, <coughs> um, Clam Pearl that just came out in research and whatnot. Um, there's just shitty lighting, sorry. Um, but, since I was out, that's the wrong letter, uh, I stopped by the, uh, the house just to see what mail was over there. And I had my country magazine, which is upside down, my country magazine. And I also had this from the, um, from the lawyer's office. <clears throat> of the, um, uh, of the bank. And it starts out, uh, this letter is to inform you that the property located at 315 West North Street, Warrensburg, was sold under non-judicial foreclosure on February the 1st, 2019. Please be advised that the current owner of your property is U.S. Bank National Association and that you are now unlawfully occupying the premises. Am I... Hmm... Uh, we represent such current owner, and we have been requested to take all legal actions necessary to secure possession of the premises. This letter constitutes additional formal and final demand that you vacate the premises within 10 days of the date this letter is delivered. The date of, the, of it was February 21st. Um, so, two days ago, they finally decided to send out a letter like, Hey, by the way, get the fuck out of the house. Um... Suit has been filed against you. If you do not vacate the premises within 10 days from the date this letter is delivered, we have been requested to pursue a judgment for costs of the suit, attorney's fees, and double the rental value of the property for the period of the unlawful possession. As a result, you must begin to immediately remove yourself and all personal possessions from the property before a judgment is obtained and a request is filed for the sheriff of Johnson County to have you forcefully evicted. This correspondence is an attempt to collect a debt and any information obtained will be used for that purposes. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm sure there's more to that letter, but I haven't really read it. Now, the interesting, you know, uh, like they sent it out the 21st. I haven't been in the house, and I can look it up. I have... Um, what was the, the, since I've been doing this vlog, uh, February 8 is when I went over there and I found the lockbox on the house. And it might have been on the, it might have been on the house, you know, two or three days before that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's just kind of interesting. Um, like you would think that they would have been somehow notified that I wasn't no longer in the house. I mean, maybe it's kind of one of those, um, um, Legal. I mean, it is a lawyer's office. Maybe it's kind of one of those legal things they have to do, just to go ahead and tell you, like, hey, you have to get out. You know, just, just, just to have the paperwork in the file, being like, hey, we told him he had to get out. You know, otherwise I might be able to come back and be like, hey, they never told me I had to get out. So, you know, I could have stayed forever, but apparently I could have stayed until uh, ten days from February twenty-first. I didn't have to move out right away, apparently. <laughs> Even though I did, and. You know, somebody locked me out of the house. I don't know who, but... Yeah. I haven't been there since February 8th. <clears throat> so, I guess they can take it whenever they want to. But, so I finally got notified. <laughs> the The notification that I've been waiting for this entire time, it's kind of like, uh, well, I don't know. Is there a date on the envelope? February 21st. So, I mean, that's the, uh... That was the date on the letter, was February 21st. So, uh, 10 days from February 21st is when I would have had to have been out. But, oh well. I'm here. I'm happy. So, now I just gotta figure all the rest of the stuff out. You know, I got my couch. Minxie is no longer in my seat, but it's cool. It's fine. Uh, and I also did get in today. 
uh, this little contraption. But I don't think it's going to work the way that I want it to work. And unfortunately, um, this is charging, so I can't. I was going to take you in the kitchen and try it out. <clears throat> it's supposed to be this part here clips onto your shelf, and then this part here down here holds your towels, holds your paper towels so that your paper towels can hang somewhere. Um, but maybe I can take this off the charger for just a minute and we can run in there and try that. I still have two, two minutes of taping time left, so that works for me. But that's the problem is I don't have any open drawers to be able to do that. Um, and I think these drawers are too thick anyway. I don't think this wouldn't really, well, I mean, it kind of, it kind of clips over. Not really though. But yeah, that's supposed to hold your your paper towels. Um, so that's not really gonna. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work for what I needed to work for. Um, I might be able to figure out another way. I'll probably never open these guys. Hmm. Should I just leave it up there, and then I can? That would. Um, I could put my paper towels up there and roll them down. Maybe. I don't know. That doesn't... I don't know. Because <laughs> all that I have in there is more paper towels. So until those run out, um, I wouldn't really be getting up there anyway. I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't really seem... Uh, that doesn't really seem kosher. I don't know. It might work. I might leave it for now. <clears throat> Nixie has found her toy. That goes beep, 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 beep. <laughs> nice death stare. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, that's the other thing that I got in today was, was that. And that was another thing that I ordered for the house. And I wasn't really sure. I bought it on Wish, so it was uh, super cheap. So it doesn't really matter. But... <clears throat> I don't have uh, the runny snotty nose. Hold on a second. Let me fill my hand here for a minute as I try to plug this back in. Yeah. Here, look at that. Whatever it is that I'm doing over there. Ta-da! Now I'm plugged back in. Now I don't have to worry about it dying. <sighs> so yeah, it's 5 p.m. Uh, I need to go to bed because we are leaving for the elms in the morning. Um, Marilee and I are going to be ready at 9. <laughs> we're, not really, we're not really sure when the other two are going to be ready, but uh, we're going to be ready to go whenever they're ready to go, pretty much. So, anyway. <sighs> I might, uh, you know, take some more NyQuil when I go to bed tonight just to really make sure that all of this stuff is knocked out of me, for sure. Uh, I don't, Like I said, I don't have the runny nose anymore. Um or anything, just kind of some some stuffed up -edness in my nose, so. And over here, I have, these have got to be my two shirts, uh, because I, you know, I, there, there is a, there is a fairly cool pool there at the Elms, and I might be, uh, might be, we might be getting in the pool, maybe. So, I had to buy myself a, uh, a, uh, I had to buy myself some swim trunks, and, uh, Hopefully this lasts. Hopefully this lasts. I will take you in here and show you. Uh, I ended up with a theme to these because, like, I, I don't really, I don't really swim, but you know, since we're going to uh, the Elms and it's fairly popular, you know, or fairly well known, I might, you know, get in the fancy pool. But see, it's uh, skull pineapples, pineapple skulls for my swim trunks, and then uh, this just happened to be. Because uh, I didn't have a towel, obviously, either. But then I ended up getting this for my for my beach towel. It's a pineapple beach towel. So the cats will probably be laying on in the morning. But uh, <clears throat> I don't really do the shirtless thing. So what those are um, is a couple of, like, swimming shirts. Kind of uh, athletic, like, uh, you know... Um, I guess they're supposed to be kind of like slicker material, maybe. Where's my plug-in? I don't know what I'm doing again. 
have fun watching whatever you're watching right now. Because I sure don't know what I'm doing. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hold on. But yeah, they're supposed to be kind of a slicker-ish material, I guess, or something. Um, I did at least do that. Well, hello. I'm looking at my door. I was going to try to open this. Maybe I can't open this with one hand. Hold on. I did get the... Uh, Ta-da! The sleeveless variety. This is the... But I ordered a, an, uh, a large and an extra large. Okay, see that's the large. And that's the large. It's gotta be the extra large thing, because I wasn't sure which one would fit me better. So I just went ahead and uh, ordered both. I'm gonna have to set you down again. Over here on this thing, which works pretty well. You're plugged in, so you won't have to worry about dying or anything, since I apparently don't know how to open a package. Here we go. Yeah, it's kind of an athletic kind of um, thing. It's a little bit uh, slicker of a material, you know. So I guess it's more designed for sweating and water and, you know, sweating, whatever. Um, so, but that's the last time, actually, when I think about it, that I would have been in the water, actually would have been uh, in uh, South Padre Island, Texas. And uh, when I went down there for... Well, my friend Robert was actually going down there for his grandfather's funeral, unfortunately. Um, and he was looking for somebody to keep him awake on the... I just fell on the floor. He was looking for somebody to keep him awake on the road. And unfortunately, <laughs> instead of you know, instead of keeping him awake, I'm falling asleep myself. So, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, we went down there and he, he has a cousin that lived down there. Um, and so we were talking about maybe going over into Mexico, but we didn't do that because... His dad didn't want him to go over there because, you know, all the crazy drivers and whatnot. Um, but, uh, we ended up going to South Padre Island, which is apparently like a very popular, um, uh, spring break, uh, destination, but it was not spring break and we had the whole place to ourselves and it was pretty awesome. Uh, but since I didn't plan on swimming when we went down there, you know, I just kind of packed some nice clothes to go to the funeral with and, you know, like a couple, like t-shirts and whatever for the next couple days, um, but I didn't pack anything to swim in, so we went to some tourist shop there, and I got, like, you know, some swim trunks, and somewhere I have, it was a, it was, you know, I figured I'd get some, get some sun on my arms, um, South Padre Island, uh, you know, sleeveless t-shirt is what I got to go play in the waves, so actually the last time I went swimming, that was probably it, I don't even know how long ago that was, so it's kind of one of those things, like, I just, I don't, I don't know, like, I just, I don't, miss it. I don't really think much about going swimming. I guess because the idea is to swim is to like cool off, but you have to go outside in the heat <laughs> to get in the pool. So I, I, I don't, unless you have like an, unless you're like super rich and you have an indoor pool. If I was super rich and I had my own indoor pool, I would probably swim a little bit more often, you know, every once in a while, you know, skinny dip, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't, swimming is just not one of those things that, like, I really want to do. Like, going on the float trip and floating down the river, that was kind of cool, you know? Just kind of, like, relaxing and, you know, well, of course, you know, you had to, uh, I tried rowing. I don't know how good I was at it, but, um, I don't know. <laughs> I... I might have spun us in circles. I don't know, um, but yeah, that that's kind of that's kind of relaxing, kind of nice and cool, like a little uh, what do they call it, lazy river, at the at the community center, the community center pool. Have your little lazy river. You just get on your inflatable inflatable donut and go down the go down the lazy river. That's kind of cool, but I don't know. Swimming's just not one of those things that really. And like I said, you know, I'm I'm not really into being half naked around people I know, much less strangers. So, uh, you know, that's kind of not really my thing. But if we decide to get in, at least now I have, you know, I'm, mo I'm mostly modest, you know, can cover up. So, <sighs> but anyway, that's uh, really all 
mo mostly it was <laughs> mostly it was I had to make the I had to make the video to tell you guys I finally got notified to get the fuck out of my house. Okay, done, done. Uh, <laughs> Ten days from two days ago. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm out. Apparently nobody told you that I I had already been evicted, so to speak, because like I can't get in the house with a lockbox on it. So, so I mean, somebody already kicked me out. You know. I don't know. I don't know, man. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's today. And uh, tomorrow is the Elms. So uh, there'll probably be two days worth of footage for that because we're going tomorrow. Um, you know. Um, and uh, we'll be there Monday too. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. And I may have to go to sleep. So <laughs> I'll see you for what I see you.